Hey guys, D Field here, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Factions here on Factions Fuchsia. God dang it, I knew my freaking faction members would start trolling me. Welcome back to Factions, guys. How are you all doing it today? Now, if you guys can already probably tell, my brother Insanity is not here with me this afternoon, guys. Like, Matthew's just been freaking. I don't even know what's going on with Matthew, man. Like, sometimes he's available, he's literally on my Minecraft like all day but while I'm like live streaming while I'm doing my own thing he's kind of doing his own thing on factions so he's kind of been like recording uh, a little bit of uh, factions here and there he's been doing a little bit of base designing and building and all of that freaking fun stuff but now really quickly guys I really need to update you guys on uh, today's video right before we jump into the main portion of the episode and right before we jump into whatever I decide uh, to do today um, I need to jump and go ahead and wait first of all before I discuss that even let's go ahead and do slash uh, spell upgrade incineration gonna go ahead and max out my very second spell here right now So my incineration spell is going to have a whole bunch of cool little effects now the fireballs and everything with the lava Oh my gosh, check it out, dude. Now, I know a lot of the people on the server do have a whole bunch of maxed out spells already. I'm still kind of working on it. I literally have not had any time at all to play factions, uh, just uh, factions grinding. But currently, right now, right before I'm, like, I was actually recording this clip, I'm actually, um, I was actually AFKing a whole bunch of blaze. Oh, what? Did they sell it already? Oh, I think Mill is selling it. Wait, let me see. NC Mill. I think Mill is currently in the pro. Yeah, he is. Um, we're, we're currently literally just making money right now we've got our blaze farm going so as you guys can see my faction members are literally just on it all the time like they are they are literally just farming up blazes so there's a person in our faction already that has their spawner level high enough for blazes and blazes are a freaking fantastic source for exp so that's kind of what we've been working on so far but right now literally right before i recorded this clip i'm currently watching the movie super bad it's like the th second or third time i'm watching this movie it's so funny and i'm literally just afking blazes while i'm farming up xp now for today's episode i do have a really really big announcement that all of you guys have been waiting for for those of you guys who are playing on factions fuchsia today as soon as you guys watch this episode we are releasing the wither heads for the server so guys this might actually be the last time you see this base i'm not sure depending if i record tomorrow night maybe it gets like freaking raided by the time this episode even goes up because wither heads are now going to be officially sold and sold at the shop on the server so I'm gonna actually do that in the middle of the episode today um, so literally I just do slash home farm I come down here and blazes are just fantastic freaking XP I think I need 15 levels to get my other spells up to level like tier 2 and all that stuff so that's kind of what I've been working on it takes about with blazes guys honestly you can max out your uh, your spells in about Maybe around two or three hours with blazes like literally I've watched about four like 30 minutes of the first super bad like the, the movie so far and I've already leveled up my incineration from level two all the way to level four. Oh my gosh Snicks loves doing these guys by the way if you are if you happen to be on the server where Snicks or, or you know where six is in her mood to do these little trivias Snicks asks question in the chat and basically the first person to answer it She gives a crate key to so for those of you guys who are looking for crate keys and all that good stuff she asks a question and then all you guys got to do is type it in first and basically the question is asked and then she gives a crate key to somebody so oh my gosh what are they doing <laughs> I have no idea what they're doing in the chat right now but six loves doing her little trivia stuff so if you guys uh, know a little bit of trivia about the Archon you guys might uh, win some crate keys from Snick so today since Matthew's not here god dang it dude guys like literally our schedules have just been straight on clashing like today Ooh, thank you for that, Mill. My thing is uh, nearly broken. I could do slash fix hand actually and fix this for 5k. And that gets paid off super easily by these blaze rods, dude. Um, but anyways, as I was saying, like Matthew and I schedule has have literally they like we've been just clashing. Like we have literally just like, you know, he is playing during the day, but during the day I'm recording for YouTube. During the day, I am uh doing group events, I'm doing streaming, which takes up most of my day. If you guys didn't know, I do stream on my Twitch channel, which is down in the description below. It's just twitch.tv slash. D field mark I stream on my twitch channel every 
almost every single day. I would say about three to five times a week. And I stream for about four to five hours every single day. And that's kind of the time where Matthew is normally playing faction. So he's on the he's on the server with his friends. He's on the server with Mill and the rest of our faction members, Justin and everybody else, just kind of actually playing faction. So the thing that you guys have to yell at Matthew for, guys, I'm telling you right now, because Matthew is a really, really lazy kid, okay? Like, he loves playing, but, like, he just won't record unless I'm recording. You know what I'm saying? You guys need to start telling Matthew to record everything that he does on factions because literally um i was asking him earlier tonight like like two hours ago i was like yo matthew what have you been doing on faction he's like oh we raided like this base and this base and this base and then i'm like oh nice dude did you record it and he's like i forgot i'm like dude you're being so freaking lazy guys can you help me out here for a second i'm asking you the audience right now if you see matthew on the server or even mill and any of my friends who, who record with Matthew or play with Matthew on a daily basis, tell this guy to start recording those episodes so that he's got like a little bit of factions almost every day, dude. Like he does it anyways. He plays factions anyways. Freaking tell him to do it. He's so freaking lazy. But anyways, um, so that was one of the announcements. Uh, we're going to be releasing Weatherhead. So what I'm actually going to do right now is I'm just going to head on over. Let me go warp shop actually. Head on over over here. What is this rabbit foot? What the heck is a rabbit's foot, dude? I kind of want to move uh, this rabbit's foot. So I'm going to go into game mode. I'm going to just show you guys everything. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to make sure I don't accidentally duplicate everything. Let's grab a sign. And let's grab a... Okay, so let's... I, I want to move the wither heads right to the middle of this. And then move the bone to the right. And then I need to move this rabbit's foot somewhere else. Now, the reason why this rabbit foot is here, guys, for those of you guys who don't know, um, on 1.9, there's like a leaping potion, I guess, is what it's called. There's a leaping potion on 1.9, and a lot of people love to use the leaping potion for whatever freaking means, whatever they're using it for. Uh, where can I put this rabbit's foot right now? Like, I feel like there needs to be something else, like, right over here, I guess. Like, maybe we could just add it on uh, to this over here, because this is kind of like the potion ingredients, right over here and i mean obviously it's not gonna fit or i can't really remove anything over here so we're just gonna add this on as like a little bit of an addition i guess so let me pick up an item frame we're gonna put rabbit's foot here uh boom like what is it buy one rabbit foot and then i think it was 500 i think is what uh we were selling it for right buy one rabbit foot and let's throw that in there okay so they can buy the rabbit foot there and then we'll go back to warp shop and remove this one right over here like this and then i'm gonna move the bone so let's move bones here by 16 bone this is kind of like what admins do guys like literally admins th this is our job like we we move all this stuff you know from one area to another now, and me being an owner of the server is obviously going to be like i've got other additional jobs that i have to do but i can't really do that on live stream so now i'm going to go ahead and put the wither head right here now here is the price so guys i talked to the server i listened to the comment section of the past video that i uploaded and basically the the way of the economy of the server is working is once you guys get to these higher tier level spawners right what the heck where did where did all these spawners right here go what the uh did they just disappear we gotta fix that later that hopefully that'll be fixed by tomorrow but anyways as i was saying i was talking to everybody i was talking to the other factions i was talking to the other youtubers and the price that we decided was that we were going to do buy three wither heads and it's going to be for two hundred thousand dollars now the reason wait 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 how how do we uh, what is this just slash item db what can i what can i name this wither head oh no no space oops so let's do buy three wither head two hundred thousand now guys the reason why it's priced this much let me see broadcast and then we're gonna do wither heads are now available at the shop all right so we're gonna let that let the, we're gonna let that happen the reason why we want this to be so expensive is the fact that it is obviously still a cannoning server like we are we are promoting the cannoning server aspect of factions but People are going to, like, the, the, the Withers are going to bring the fast pace of uh, of this entire, like, series. You know, people are, who have Withers are going to be the richer factions who want to grind out for that. And, you know, obviously with the spells, it makes it really, really easy to actually kill the Withers. It's just going to be, can you be online when somebody's trying to raid you? So, it's expensive enough where people still might want to use a cannon instead of using a, you know, a TNT cannon instead of using a Wither. Which is kind of what we're going for. And, like, that is kind of, like, the atmosphere 
atmosphere of factions that I'm trying to create. It's still fast paced. People can raid using cannons or they can raid using a wither. So now with that being said, if I go to slash home or F home and I go to the top of my base right here really, really quickly, guys, I am almost 100% positive by before the time I record the next episode, because this episode is technically going to be uploading almost like 18 hours after I record it. I can guarantee you that this right here is already going to be rated. Now, that is that is what I am going for, guys. Like, I don't want anybody to be, quote unquote, unrateable. I don't want anybody to be, you know, quote unquote, like just impossible to raid because, you know, it would take four, five, six, seven, eight hours to raid them using cannons. I want people to always be on the edge and always Always be ready to defend their base. Now, guys, like I'm going to tell you guys what my faction kind of did. If I just slash F who, guys, we have obviously 20 or no, we have 30 members. How many members do we have currently? Let's see. We have. How do we check real quick? How do we? Frick, I can't do it myself. Okay, so we have X amount of members in our faction. But the reason why we have this many people in our faction is that we have some members who are European based. We have some members who are, uh, you know, Australian based. We have two members who are Australian based. And then obviously we have all of our members who are obviously uh, US based. So we have people kind of in every single time zone and you need it to be that way so that you guys can always defend your base. Now, so basically all that means is the more active you are, the less likely of a chance that you guys are at being ready because obviously if you guys are online you're going to be able to kill those withers really easily because one you have spells to work with and then two you can literally be like let me let me just go slash home top let's say they're raiding a wither like right here i can literally sp send spells on over and that guy is gonna like almost guaranteed like the wither is gonna be almost guaranteed to die now the reason why it's like priced so much at 200k is the fact that if you kill a wither like you are legitimately gonna like hamper the, your enemy like that is that is like the main reason as to why we decided to do this with the wither like it's like if you are you kill a wither it's actually gonna lose you're gonna make your enemy lose so much money just by doing something like killing a wither so that's kind of what we were going for so that people still have an incentive to use cannons as raiding that's it's it's like literally one of those things that um i'm kind of just promoting i really want fast based pvp where no one is really quote unquote unstoppable unless they're just online all the time so it's going to kind of bring an interesting aspect to factions in the in a sort that you guys have to recruit members not only in your time zone but you're going to have to find trusted members who are from australia who are from the uk who are from asia you know to kind of man and be online you know maybe one or two members online at any given time now this is going to be the fun part you are going to have to like let's say i'm trying to raid dylan's faction i'm gonna have to try to find the most opportunistic moment to raid dylan uh when he's offline or maybe when he only has one or two faction members on because as soon as you see that wither bar it's going to be it's, it's almost guaranteed that somebody is with is withering and raiding you you know what i'm saying so it's going to bring that sort of surprise aspect to factions so guys start making friends man like factions is very cutthroat and ruthless where you know you can only trust some people but if you can find some trusted group of 10 20 30 friends you guys are obviously going to be unstoppable because you know the more bases you have the more spawners you have the more money you have the more tnt you can buy and the more carnage you can just wreak on the freaking uh, battlefield. So that's kind of um, what I'm going for. That's the reason why, for those of you guys who are like, what the frick, 200K? There's a reason why the prices are really, really high, guys, because we want it to be a really big deal if you kill somebody else's wither. Now, with that being said, I'm going to try to attempt a solo raid tonight. Now, I told you guys to do slash mail send D field. If I do slash mail, I have not, or what is it, slash mail read? I have 10 pages of uh, these these mails that I have to go through right now. I'm gonna see if somebody has sent me a raid and then I'm gonna go ahead and see, let me see what my balance is right now. I have 84,000, let me message Serenity. Uh, yo, Serenity, how much money do you have? Let me turn my message messages on real quick. Um, wait, um, do we have enough for a couple withers? Like I might wanna try to get my first wither raid tonight, if it's possible, 287K, uh, okay, so let me see. Do we have enough for a couple with? I know Mill does. Let's see what Mill's balance. Balance Mill. I Mill's freaking rich as frick, dude. Mill's got a nice amount of money. Mill has fifth. Mill just bought fifteen freaking heads. Oh my gosh. All right. Um, I'm gonna read and check 
my mail and maybe we can raid someone tonight. Uh, give it give me a bit so exceptions has 300k as you guys can see my faction has been farming up some money using these freaking blaze farms And it's just it's just money for days guys Like you can make money as long as you guys grind enough on the server and just make all that you know like it's it's very very Possible so anyways, I'm gonna go if you guys want to pay I'll buy the heads. Okay, so mills buying the heads right now um, We're gonna go ahead and do that I'm gonna go ahead and read through some of these things see if we can find a nice little raid for you guys today I can't guarantee that it's gonna be a really really good raid because obviously we have a raid on undefeated right now What the heck? I'm gonna hop onto the archon team speak and see what the frick is going on right now I'll be right back. Hopefully we'll be in a call with the rest of my faction members Hold on, here we go. All right, guys, we did a little bit of testing, and currently, right now, the server will not spawn in Withers, but by the time you are watching this uh, this video, Withers are gonna be enabled on the server. Um, as 1.8 stands, we actually disabled it for the beginning portion so that no one could get Withers, and uh, Swifty, one of our developers, is not currently awake right now, so he can't turn it off, like the little plugin, the little custom plugin that he made uh, that made Withers not spawn. So as soon as you guys watch this video, Withers are going to be enabled, and tomorrow should be our very, very first raid. I was talking with Zerenity and uh, Zerenity and Mill just a couple of minutes ago, and we're planning on raiding one of uh, Hogwarts's or one of Gryffindor's main allies tomorrow. Now, guys, they they might be raided by the time tomorrow rolls around. I really need to freaking get Matthew online tomorrow, right after his school is done, so that we can get a freaking raid on these guys. But hopefully. It's saved for tomorrow because we've got a lot of freaking plans going on uh, in coming as soon as these withers are enabled because there's a couple of little tactics that I want to show you guys and a couple of new little raiding techniques that are we're waiting to showcase to you guys that um, some of my faction members have discovered as they've been raiding some bases in the past couple days. But guys, that is going to bring it to the end of today's episode tomorrow. Guaranteed is going to be one of our first raids, hopefully, as long as Undefeated and all of those other factions don't get raided tonight. We should be having a fun little episode for tomorrow. So let's put a little bit of a hurting on all of their faction allies. You know what I'm saying? Thank you guys so much for watching. This is D-Field. We'll see you guys tomorrow.